If you want to know the true cost of what it takes to run an eBay business, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be breaking down everything. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a full-time seven-figure eBay and Shopify seller. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going through all of the expenses that I have to pay to run my eBay business every single year. I'm going to be going for the most expensive ones to the least expensive. It may be in order, it may not, but I'm going to be going through all of the expenses that I have to pay as an eBay business owner. There's going to be so much value in this video, so you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end. If you find any value in it at any point, don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well whilst you're down there so that you don't miss content like this that's going to be coming out every couple of days let's not waste any more time let's get right into it i've got my accounting software right here in front of me so i may look down now and then just so that i can look at everything i got my profit and loss statements and i'm just going to go through all of the expenses that i have to pay and the first one in the list is my product cost so if you're new to my channel and you've never seen my face before what i do is that i sell on ebay shopify amazon but what i do is that i import the stock into my warehouse or my office space and then i ship out the goods myself so i don't really do drop shipping that often i do do drop shipping now and then to test out products but the main way that i like to build businesses on ebay is by importing the stock and selling it one by one so the main cost that i have to pay for to run this business is my product cost so it is quite expensive to run this business it is a cash intensive business it's not like a lot of other online businesses that you might see people doing with this type of online business you are going to have to invest in stock and it is kind of a risk you know it does come with its pros and its cons the pros are that i'm going to be able to ship out the goods really quick to my customers but the cons are that I'm going to be sitting on the stock until the customer buys it so it all depends on what you want to do when it comes to making money online because I've been doing this for some time now you know I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to which products to buy and which ones to not buy and I'm also ready to take whatever loss that I have to take if a product doesn't sell and the way that I like to source my products is from China and with that I'm going to also have to pay shipping fees so not only do I have to pay for the product cost I also have to pay for the shipping fees as well and a lot of people tend to complain about the expensive shipping costs that you're going to have to pay when it comes to importing stuff from China but I just see it as a cost of doing business you know every single seller whether they're selling on eBay Shopify Amazon is going to have to pay those exact same shipping fees for them to import their stock from China into whatever country they're based whether it's US or UK so I just see it as a cost of me doing business and it all comes down to making sure that you've done the right return on investment analysis before you send any money to any supplier for any product so if you want to know exactly how I do that you can check the first link in the pinned comment down below all right so the next expense that I have to pay for my eBay business is eBay selling fees. Now this is broken up into various different categories. The first one is a final value fee that I have to pay every single time an item is sold. So I believe right now it's around 9% or 10%. If an item is sold for let's say £10, let's say that I am being charged 10%, that means that I'm going to have to pay £1 to sell that item on eBay. So I don't actually have to pay any fees for me to list items on eBay. And the reason for that is because I've got an eBay shop subscription that I pay for every single month. Now there's three different shop subscriptions that you can get when it comes to selling on eBay eBay you can either get a basic shop a featured shop or an anchor shop each of these different stores come with their own benefits that I'm not going to go into in today's video but the store that I pay for every single month is the featured shop and with that I'm going to be able to list around 1,500 different products every single month for free and I'm also going to get other benefits as well but this is the next fee that I have to pay when it comes to my eBay selling fees every single month now another eBay selling fee that I have to pay for is eBay promotional fees so these are the fees that I pay for every single month when I'm running all of the different advertising that I do on my eBay store. Now I do multi-buy campaigns, I do promoted listings, I do coupons, I do various different advertising when it comes to selling my products on eBay. So these are the next type of fees that I have to pay to eBay and I'm sure that there's other monthly fees that I have to pay directly to eBay that I might be forgetting right now but it's the final value fee, the monthly shop subscription that I have to pay and the fees that I have to pay for advertising my products directly on eBay. So the next type of expense that I have to pay for my eBay business is the shipping fees. In terms of me shipping my goods to the customers now because i'm based in the uk i like to use royal mail which is the biggest delivery service in the uk i believe that it's reliable and i've been using them for many many years now from when i first started but the way that it works now with my ebay business is that i have a royal mail business account which means that i get invoiced every single month so i'm able to ship out goods throughout the whole month and at the end of the month what they're going to do is that they're going to charge me for all of the shipments that i made during the month so i don't pay for each individual shipment like what i used to do when i first started my ebay business now i get 
invoiced at the end of the month, which makes things a little bit more easier. And because I have a Royal Mail business account, I'm gonna be able to save money on each individual shipment that I send out. For example, I was probably paying around £2.50 for each individual parcel that I was shipping out. However, now I'm paying around £2.20 for each individual shipment that I'm sending out. So I'm saving around 30p every single time I send out a shipment, which means that I'm probably saving over £500, £1,000 every single month just by me having a Royal Mail business account. So you might wanna look into that too. It's very easy for you to sign up for it. You just gotta have a registered business. You gotta go through the application. So do your research, find out how you can get that because it has saved me a lot of money and it's just made things a little bit easier when it comes to me operating my business. But if you want me to make a detailed video step-by-step step showing you how you can sign up for a Royal Mail business account, put it down below. I wanna see how many people are actually interested in that video before I spend my time making it. So put in the comments down below that you wanna see the Royal Mail step-by-step video and I'll definitely make it as soon as possible. All right, so the next expense that I have to pay for for my eBay business is buying packaging every single month. Now there's various different types of packaging that I have to pay for for my e-commerce businesses. I have to buy boxes, I have to buy packaging, just general normal packaging. I have to buy sellotape, bubble wrap, various different things. I have to also buy labels, for my label makers. So I buy my packaging from eBay. All of the packaging that I use for all of my businesses, I buy it from eBay. You'll see that there's various different suppliers that you can use to buy your packaging from. So from the beginning up until now, I'm still using eBay to buy all of my packaging. So I'm probably spending around 300, 400, maybe 500 pounds per month on packaging alone. So as you can see, I also buy my sellotape. You can buy various different types of packaging that you need for your online businesses through eBay. You don't need to make it complicated just come onto eBay, search for whatever product you want and then buy it from here. And it's also a great way to build up feedback on another eBay store as well. So what I do is that I have my main eBay store that I sell from and I also have various different small eBay stores that I'm building up in terms of building up my feedback. And because I'm using those eBay accounts to buy packaging equipment for my eBay businesses, I'm also building up feedback on those eBay accounts. So now I've got eBay accounts with over 1000 feedback that I'm just using to buy packaging equipment from. So eventually I'm gonna use those eBay accounts to start selling from as well so that's another thing that you can do you can have a main ebay account that you're selling from and then have a secondary ebay account that you use to buy stuff on ebay through and then you're going to be able to build up feedback that way and also build up a second ebay account all right so one of the largest expenses that i have to pay for when it comes to running my ebay business every single year is taxes now there's various different types of taxes that i have to pay when it comes to running my online stores the main one that i have to pay is corporation tax now this is taxed every single year at 19 percent of whatever profit i do i also have to pay pay for VAT, I have to pay that every single quarter, I have to pay for employee taxes, I have to pay for various different taxes when it comes to running my online businesses. I've made a video on this already breaking down all of the taxes that I have to pay. I'm going to link it above so you can watch that video after you finish watching this one. But taxes is definitely one of the largest expenses when it comes to running a business. Now you shouldn't necessarily be afraid of taxes because the more money that you make, the more taxes that you're going to have to pay, the less money you make, the less taxes you're going to have to pay. So you shouldn't be too afraid of it and you should just see it as a cost of the doing business. In whatever country you're based in, you're always going to have to pay some form of tax when it comes to running a business. So you shouldn't avoid it. You should just see it as something you need to do. Even when you're an employee, you're always paying taxes, whether it's income tax. If you look at your pay stub or your pay slip, you're going to see that the government has already taken off their part of their taxes. So taxes is just something you need to pay whether you're an employer or whether you're an employee. And it's just something that you need to pay if you do want to run a business. So the final expense that I'm going to talk about in today's video is employee wages. So I've got various different people that I employ to help me with various different things. I've got someone that helps me pack and ship orders. I've got someone that helps me with the customer service, whether it's answering emails or answering the phone. I've got someone that helps me list items on eBay every single month. So I've got all of these different people that help me do all of these different tasks that I pay for. And again, at the start, I didn't want to pay any employee. I wanted to do everything myself. But as I've grown my business, I've realized that I can't do everything myself because I'm not going to be able to expand it. The way that I see it is that if I'm paying all of these different people to do all of these different tasks, it's going to free up my time to focus on what I can do to grow my business. I'm focused on doing other businesses. So I'm essentially buying my time back. And that's the way that you gotta see if you are running a business, you can't try and do everything yourself. Of course you can do everything yourself at the start, but once you get to the point where you're feeling overwhelmed, then I'll definitely advise you to find someone that's gonna be able to take the stress off your shoulders. Now there's various different places that you can find employees. You can go to fiverr.com, you can go to Upwork, freelancer.com. These are the places that I like to use when it comes to finding long-term employees or whether it's just people that I'm gonna use for a specific project. But you can go into these websites and look for the best employees you that's going to be able to help you with whatever you need. So those are the main things that I have to pay for to run just my eBay business. Now 
as you guys know, I also sell on Shopify, I sell on Amazon too, and I've got different expenses for all of these different platforms. So if you wanna know what I have to pay for when it comes to my entire e-commerce business, including Shopify as well, or you wanna see an individual video of me talking about the expenses that I have to pay for to run my Shopify business, put it in the comments down below and I'll definitely make that video just so that you guys have a full idea of all of the expenses that you're gonna have to pay if you do wanna run an eBay business and a Shopify business, put it in the comments down below and I'll make it as soon as possible. But if you found any value in this video, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. It allows me to continue making content like this to help you guys out. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. And don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.